What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a little bit of a hack for you when it comes to our Lowrance Ghost trolling motor here. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the TH Marine Troll Tamer on the Ghost without drilling any new holes into the motor itself. If you're familiar with the Troll Tamer, you know you would usually have to mount it somewhere on the, on the base, or I'm sorry, on the mount of the trolling motor. You'd have to drill a new hole and install it that way. Um, if you're not familiar with the Troll Tamer, stay tuned. Of course, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to get this thing installed on the ghost without drilling any new holes and in my opinion this is a well worthwhile modification to really keep this trolling motor locked down in place when you're running especially in rough water if you do any fishing on big lakes big rivers and you, you know you're running in rough water my ghost didn't bounce all that much but it did have a little bit of a wiggle to it now this thing is locked down solid locked down nice and tight i'll give you a better look at it but let me show you how to get this thing installed on the motor before we do anything else all right, let me show you how to get this done. All you're gonna need for this project is the Troll Tamer itself. It does come in different lengths and different model numbers. I will link exactly what I use down below the video to make this easy on you guys if you wanna copy what I'm about to show you. All right, so you need the Troll Tamer itself. You need a five 30 seconds size drill bit. That's for pilot holes, I'll show you that in a second. And then you need a drill tap, okay? And this is very, very important. I, I got this off Amazon, I think it was like seven bucks. Um, I knew I wasn't really going to use it much in the future. I, you know, it was just, I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg on a good one. I, this did the job perfectly fine. No issues as, whatsoever, as you're going to see. But the size of it is most important. It has to be a 3 8 16 is the size of that drill tap, okay? And again, I will link all of this stuff down below the video. And then you need some cutting fluid. I'll link that as well. All right. So, let me show you. Actually, let me give you a quick look at the Troll Tamer, just in case you're unfamiliar with it. All it is, is it's a two-part system. You have a base plate and the top piece that goes to your trolling motor. All you do is you mount the base plate somewhere on your, your deck. Um, you have to figure out where. And then this piece would mount to the trolling motor. You'd have to drill a hole right here in the ghost. And you'd have to mount it right there using the bolt that's on it um, after you drill the hole. That's how it would secure. And as the trolling motor comes down, that this top piece would lock into the base plate locking that trolling motor in place and not allowing it to bounce so this thing this comes in handy if you fish a lot of lakes or rivers big lakes or rivers that you know gets rocky or even if you're just you're you know you're worried about it going down the highway if you hit a good bump and the trolling motor happens to bounce a little bit again my ghost didn't bounce much at all it was just a tiny tiny bit and it was nothing that I was even worried about, but I just figured why not do this? Be, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And uh, that's where this troll tamer comes in and, and really, you know, does an awesome job of keeping it secure. And then, so the base plate would be on the deck of your boat. When you want to release the trolling motor, all you would do, this lever right here, you would just use your foot, slide it aside, and that releases, that would release the trolling motor. Again, this would be mounted on the motor like that. All right, so that's the trolling motor, in, I'm sorry, the troll tamer in a nutshell. So... In order to get this done, um, I did not want to have to drill a hole in the ghost, as I mentioned. All I did in the ghost is, is basically perfect for this, and I'll show you exactly what I mean and, and why I say that. All you got to do, the stabilizer bar on the ghost right here, just pop that, that lower cap off, okay? And you'll see that there's a hole. This, this isn't a solid stabilizer bar. There's, there's a hole that goes right up the, the center of the stabilizer bar. Usually, to use this size drill tap, you would have to drill a 5 16 hole straight up the center of the stabilizer bar. When I went to do that, I realized the hole that's in the middle of this bar, it's already that exact size. So the Ghost made it super easy to get this project done. So you don't have to drill any new holes. The hole that's already there is the perfect size. So all you do is take your drill tap, your cutting fluid, if you're not sure how to, how, to, how to do this, how to drill and tap a hole, um, or how to, how to tap it, I should say, there are plenty of videos out there. I'm not going to show you on this video. It's very, very easy to do. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've done this. So you don't have to be a, you know, a rocket scientist. If you're not comfortable doing it, there are, you can take it to a shop or somebody, you know, that can, that can tap the, the, the stabilizer bar for you. Again, just make sure it's that size that I mentioned. 3 8 16 is the size of the drill tap. But if you're going to tap it yourself, um, very easy to do. You just take some cutting fluid, put it on your drill tap, put it right there on the, on the stabilizer bar and use your drill tap to get the threads inside that, the, the stabilizer bar. Once that's done, 
all you're gonna do is take the troll tamer, the top piece, looks like this. You're gonna unscrew the two pieces, okay? So now you're left with the top part that looks like that and the bottom part that looks like this and it has that piece right there that, that that's the piece that would go into, um, into the, uh, the base plate and lock it in place. This is why that size drill tap is so important because the threads are 3 8 16 So once you tap the inside of that stabilizer bar, you can take this piece from the troll tamer. And as you can see, even though this drill tap was only like seven bucks off Amazon, um, it did the job perfectly. All you're gonna do, I'm just finger, finger screwing it in there. I mean, it, you know, <laughs> uh, the, that, that drill tap did an awesome job. The, the threads in there are perfect. So you just drill that, or I'm sorry, screw that in there. Now I can take a wrench and, and like I, I got it in there just about as much as I can with my fingers. Um, actually I can get it a little bit more, but I can get a wrench and even screw it in more. So then all you're gonna do is take the base plate you're going to lower the trolling motor to see where this piece is gonna, where, basically where you're gonna have to mount the base plate. All right, so just bring it down, bring it down, make sure it's lined up to where that piece that's in the ghost goes into the base plate, okay? That's pretty much all there is to it. The, the, the troll tamer comes with three mounting screws for the base plate. So now all you're going to do is you're going to take your five 30 seconds drill bit, drill three pilot holes um, for mounting the base plate, put these screws down in it, and you're done. And now you have a built-in stabilizer, I'm sorry, a built-in troll tamer in the stabilizer bar of your Ghost. You don't have to drill any new holes in the motor. And this thing, I'll show you, I'll get this finished up and I'll give you a look. It is rock solid. Once you screw this down to the, to the deck of the boat, this trolling motor isn't going anywhere. It isn't bouncing anywhere. I don't care what you're doing or how rough the water is. It's not going anywhere. So let me finish um, just basically screwing the, the base plate down to the boat and I'll give you a look at the finished product. All right, guys, I brought you in a little bit closer so I can get you a good look here. If you like this video, if you find it helpful, if you like the project, please give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. And I appreciate all you guys watching. So let me give you a look here. The base plate is mounted using the three screws that come with the troll tamer. Um, when you're mounting the base plate, the one thing to pay attention to, the lever, the release lever that you're gonna slide with your foot right here, make sure that's at a good angle for you. So when you're standing on the front of the boat, you can easily reach it with your foot. I have mine angled out this way. You wouldn't want it turned in and have it angling this way because then it's gonna be underneath the trolling motor when the, when the motor's down and you wouldn't be able to easily get at it with your foot. So just pay attention to that when you're mounting that base plate. All right, so base plate's on the deck. We have that piece mounted in the stabilizer bar as I showed you. So let me lower this down. As I bring it down, you're gonna see this is gonna lock in to the base plate. And let me give you a look at how steady or how sturdy I should say this mount is. So it locks in place. Once those two pieces are locked in, guys, this trolling motor, you can't bounce it. You can't, you can shake the entire boat with it. That motor is as secure as it's going to get on the deck of this boat. So I don't care how big the waves are that you're in. I don't care how big of a bump you hit on the highway. It doesn't matter. This ghost is not going to bounce one tiny bit. It's, it's super secure on the front of the boat. All right, to release it, all you're going to do, slide this lever over with your foot and then do exactly the same thing that you always do with the ghost. All right, it's just, it's that easy. So it doesn't add, you know, a lot of, it doesn't add any extra steps. All you gotta do is slide that lever with your foot and lift the ghost up like you always would. Well worth the investment in my opinion, investment in my opinion, guys. This whole project, even with the cutting fluid and that drill tap, because I didn't have that drill tap, it cost me a little over a hundred bucks. In my opinion, it is well worth a hundred dollars, give or take, um, to know that my ghost is secured to the front of this deck, no matter what. All right, so hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I appreciate all you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.